previously in the Bozzy Martin Cinematic Universe. I moved countries for art school, met my roommate and completely made over my dorm room. But in this video, things at RISD are about to get real. So welcome to my first week of classes at art school. Literary studies. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, I heard it already. Today in studio. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Today in studio, I made a snail. She's made a snail. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first week of first day of classes, and I'm literally just going mad. So. Yeah, me too. Even though I didn't even have a studio. So. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. <laughs> okay, today I have a Zoom call. My timetable alternates between studio days and like art history literature days. So this is the first day of art history. I've already been to a physical class, but like I don't want to be taking up my phone and taking videos of people without their permission. So I'm going to log on to Zoom now. Classes have finished for the day, so I'm just headed off to the Blick here because I accidentally spent $36 on embroidery thread because it was not labelled on the shelves. So I'm gonna go return it. It's great. Hello. I wanted to return. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Bye. Unbelievably tired. I'm pretty happy with this measuring tape though. Like people are gonna go back to the studio later today to try and make some more progress, but it's okay. I need to get too burnt out on like the second day of class. I do however need to actually get organized and fill out my bullet journal thing for the rest of the term with all the key dates. So I'ma do that now. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I properly set up my bullet journal to keep me organized before classes got too crazy. <laughs> and I will admit I was worried about the grind culture here because I feel like RISD gets a lot of bad press for like making people stay up all night and have all nighters and grind culture and stress and overworking. But it's been fine so far. I mean, I feel like I'm good at time management anyway. And though this first year is definitely a lot with my literal eight hour studio days <laughs> and liberals on top of that, it's manageable. <laughs> I'm managing, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I have time to have a social life and also to semi keep this YouTube channel running. So what more can you ask for? Fine, I'm looking done. Uh. I'm hiding under here. The next mission for the day was to check out the 3D store. My roommate needed to grab some materials she'd forgotten for her class, and we both luckily held off on getting absolutely everything on the material list that RISD provided, and decided to wait until class to see what our professors actually wanted us to get, because put quite cynically, RISD owns the stores where we would spend the money to get the supplies, so they're incentivized to want us to get more materials than we actually need. But maybe that's my inner conspiracy theorist jumping out. Cute. <laughs> I'll take a 
The next few days, I continued to explore everything that RISD had to offer, from the nature lab, to the second year housing, to the different places to eat. Even now, recording this voiceover, coming up to finals week of my first term here, I'm still finding out new things about RISD every week. The campus here is huge, with so many high-tech machines and processes going on <laughs> that I can't even begin to imagine. <laughs> It's a video. <laughs> so relax, enjoy, remember that life goes really fast, that you can make your life based on your thoughts and your emotions. You can create the results of it. So just enjoy the moment. I have to be honest with you guys, making this video has not been my number one priority. I've been memorizing people's names, I've been trying to get professors to like me, I've been decorating my room. I sprained my leg really badly, like I think I pulled a muscle when I was walking up the hill the other day. I'm trying not to get too fat on the mozzarella sticks they serve in the kitchen here because it is so good, but yeah, I'm just... It's been very hectic. I finished my tape measure though, it's all done. I was literally walking with it yesterday back from class and this person came up to me and said, you're the guy with the tape measure. What does that even mean? Word has traveled about my tape measure. But yeah, I've got some time to myself now so I'm gonna clear up all the shit in this room and start decorating this notice board here so it feels a bit more like home. Moving to a new country has been a whole new experience for me. And though I may not have shown it on camera a lot, the culture shock in this first week was a struggle. Feeling singled out in each room just for the way that I talk was something that I had never encountered at such a scale as this ever before. And it was absolutely exhausting. So making my space feel more like a home was a priority for me mentally and also creatively. I have made some really cool stuff since I've been here that I am just dying to share with you guys, but I can't put it in this video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode of my art school adventure. And I will see you all in the next one very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.